wystąpię bit sami. Allow me to welcome Mr. Audu, the Vice Chancellor of the Federal the VC Academic, and uh, the, uh, the DVC Administration. Yes. <laughs> the person who collects all the money in the Liberian group. So that uh, if a law is not, if a bill is not signed, it's not a law. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I cannot cancel it because if I say no, don't come. I'm already aware. You will think something different. So I said, okay, give them ten o'clock here. What they want us to do, uh, in addition to our participation. Uh, I know the deputy governor of South Africa has already got to say he's coming. The former governor of the state said also he's coming. So I don't know how many. And how many governments? Oh, well, the formal invitation of the same. You know, many of them are not as uh, intellectually inclined as unless we call them to honor them, that's when they can. Anything intellectually inclined as they think it was to talk. Senator, we have a question. You see, a part of when he's coming to the world president is coming to represent Senator or? Uh, Dr. Wazza, I'm going to leave. Oh, and see you The deputy servant, which I know doesn't have a major. Where was my letter from? Good. Thank you, sir. I think that picture will help to hold it. Yes, because these are the situations in the case. I said, oh, welcome all of you, and actually, we are here today to formally inform the chief servants of Niger State of the forthcoming convocation ceremony of uh, 
So then we turn to now to MINA. This one we are calling it 19th and 20th Combined Convocation uh, Ceremony. Um, this ceremony, you, you wonder why we are calling it 19th and 20th, because the last one we did was the 10th or 11th. And we discovered that in the past, if we have two or three combined uh, Convocation Ceremony, we just call them one. So we come back to history and counted the uh, then, and we are now at the 19th and 20th, which of course signifies our own age, the age of the university. You see, when you talk of 11 convocation ceremony, if you see massive IBBU is older than us. <laughs> we want to specifically invite you, sir, and your cabinet um, to the 19th and 20th convocation ceremony. It will start, it will kick off tomorrow. Thursday, um, 5th April 2012, with a convocation lecture that will be given by Professor Peter Okebukola, who, of course, you know, was a former uh, Electric Secretary of the National University Commission. He is currently also uh, the Chairman of Governing Councils of three different uh, universities, including Oshu State uh, uh, University. Um, the following day, it's going to be our own uh, uh, graduation for the undergraduate 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 graduates uh, that's the first degree. And then later that will take place at 9 a.m. And later in the day at 4 p.m. Uh, we have uh, the commissioning ceremony of some of the computer projects in Gidan Kwano campus. And I'm happy sir to tell the chief servant that he will be commissioning two of those projects. Uh, the block of classroom in, as I said, the Gina Kwando campus, our main campus, Gina Kwando, and then the power substation that we just completed. It has a capacity of 7.5 MBA transformer uh, in it. Um, then other projects will be commissioned by other people, by the National University Commission, that day, and also the Executive Secretary of Education, Tertiary Education Task Force Fund. The full name is which is the grand ceremony uh, is the convocation of for higher degree graduates, and of course the confirmation of uh, honorary degrees. The three eminent uh, personalities. They are His Excellency Chief Ikiwe Ekwemadu, the Deputy President of the Senate, and. Um, the, the other person is like Dr. Sani Dauda, the chairman of ASP Motors in Kaduna. And of course, the other farmer that we just mentioned, uh, Mr. David Victor uh, Wing, who is the chairman of Osprey International uh, Limited. Um, well, we are also going to ask you, sir, if after the grand ceremony on, uh, on Saturday, you be able to give dignity a parting uh, a refreshment, maybe at, your com at, at a suitable place that is convenient to you, sir. We want to... On the competition day. After the ceremony. The ceremony starts at 10. There will be commissioning of other projects, two projects of that Saturday at 9. One by the Honorable uh, Minister of Education, who will commission uh, the Computer Engineering Department Conference, and the other one by the visitor, uh, who he will commission the administrative work of the School of ICT. Uh, if he doesn't come, whoever is the representative will also commission it on his behalf for him. Uh, I want to again appreciate uh, the Chief Servant of Niger State and the good people of Niger State, including, of course, the Deputy Chief Servant. And my very good friend from my alma mater, I don't know which time we are, we are going to visit my alma mater again today. A <laughs> uh, teacher, I may be chief of staff. No, we are. Yes. And of course, there's a G and other commissioners here present. We continue to appreciate you. Chief of staff has no intention of going back to the I I'm not saying you should go there, so we should go and visit yes. this, this place.
place. Maybe he turned off his room to become governor. I want to tell you, uh, in addition to the request I made earlier on that, it would be greatly appreciated if he also assist us in hosting some of these dignitaries, particularly your colleagues, uh, electric governors. Of all those coming, then Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. We provide that, and you get in touch. The other, the other one that I'm wondering, because by tradition, for all the support, I'm chief about and the good people of Nigeria State have given to the university. Mr. So we back I know that whenever we come with uh, cups in hand, cups in hand, you always add more for us. Sir. Thank you very much. Do you know what's happening? University and even beyond. It has really helped us. Um, I've been looking for money to do a live that for a bit. Yeah. At least if I can do it, to at least up to maybe uh, uh, what's that? You are gay. Hey. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Are you okay? Thank you. <laughs> The idea, this is the central classroom blocks. The idea for the construction of this project was conceived by the management as a result of inadequate. The project consists of three classrooms with a capacity of 200 seats per each class. The classrooms are to serve as a general lecture room, as general lecture rooms for all the schools and departments in Bidampamu campus of the university. The contract for the construction was awarded in November 2010 to Mr. Skyline Integrated Limited and was successfully completed in March 2011. The project was funded from 2010 to operation. We invite the governor to the commission. I thank you for this invitation. This invitation to me confirms my point. Education is the one thing that nobody can take away from you. The more knowledgeable you are, the better you are. No matter what your pocket condition is, a knowledgeable person never goes hungry. A knowledgeable
crippled person never is poor. So for to build classrooms, for me, that is the best we can do. For the housing, I'm happy that now we have directed that every university should encourage PPP in the building of hostels. And with Gideon Kwanu and the whole surroundings, I hope even some professors will build houses for others to rent outside. Because of the growth of Gideon Kwanu, we created another bypass from Jonathan Place that will bus to the gate of the university here, thereby creating more avenues for people to build houses. And I hope that the, this university will become one of the best, one of the largest in this country. Bismillah ar Rahman. At least I have a reason to be calling you all the time, Chairman. <laughs> The Federal University of Technology in a official commission of the Sun's UN, Telbab Minasodengi Nupe, the Chief Servant and Executive Governor of the State, under the witness of the Chairman of Council, Professor Rufai Al Kali, and the VC, the professors. Oh, We are happy to present to you the representative of the executive secretary PTDF for the Training a uh, skill acquisition center of the welders certification training program. So I want him to give you a brief of what the center is all about. Thank you. Thank you sir. My name is Usman Pinda. <coughs> Federal University of Technology happens to be one of the centers that has been certified as having the requisite competencies to deliver the training as provided by the International Institute of Welding. What we're doing here is training Nigerians. What we're doing here is training Nigerians to acquire competences in manual metal arc welding up to Model C so they can participate not only in Nigeria but the whole of the Gulf of Guinea. Incidentally, sir, MINA has been part of the program from inception. And up till today, they have provided enough commitment to want us to continue with the training programs here. So I would like to thank the chief servant yeah. and to inform you that today we have 59 trainees that are on the program here. And it is expected that in the next few weeks they will pass out. <laughs> yes, sir. Statistical analytical output. <laughs> 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 <Your friend. laughs> Believe me, I'm very much impressed with what the PDD has been doing. I remember last year we were also here when we commissioned a theatre and other computer rooms that they gave. And even that time, the secretary couldn't come. And, but I'm happy that Pinder, who has been able to speak eloquently on the issues, is here with us. 
It is therefore my pleasure, my honor, to commission this place for the benefit of Niger State in particular and Nigeria in general, and praying that whoever finishes this place will have work to do. You should have added, you invited me, who again is an organization, they have been doing very well with our universities. And I think now the law is saying that they can only deal with universities and now tertiary institutions, no more secondary schools and other things. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We do this for the benefit of our students and for education. due to contractors' poor performance. The project was then re-awarded to Mezaz Rufasi, Nigeria Limited, in December 2010 and was successfully completed in December 2011. The project is the major component of School of Environmental Technology and comprises lecture rooms, staff offices, and conveniences. The project was funded from the 209 appropriation and the universities internally generated. I invite you, sir, the representative of the NUC, to commission. He has found very, very convenient and important to come and do it on his behalf. Please introduce yourself, sir. Thank you. Well, Your Excellency, the Chief Servant of the United States, the Governor Council, Vice Chancellor, my colleague, I am a I bring you greetings from the Executive Secretary 
of the National Universities Commission, Professor Julius Kuti. Of course, because of his relationship with the Vice Chancellor of this university. In our meeting, the region is not able to come. So he has sent me to commission this project on his behalf to the benefit of education and to the benefit of the quality standards that the National Universities Commission has the benefit of the students and the staff of this university. I commission this project. Ali U C O N. Telephone Mina so then get Governor Niger State on Friday thirteenth, April twenty twelve. Who remembers Friday the thirteenth? <laughs> Thank you. But because of the lifeline, we And I'm presenting to the right person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not chairman. Thank you, sir. Increase in students' population and the population of the university, headed by Professor MSR, to provide a place where students can purchase their, some of their immediate needs with kids within the university community. 20 open shops and 32 work options for mission this modern community market. On behalf of who? On behalf of the view of the I would gladly do that. If you want to serve the people, then you can take public service. But if it is money, and I hope that the stores will be given to students too. Yes. There are some of them who will want to be involved. Yes. And but you said regulated, regulated uh, price. What does that mean? <laughs> so we want to control the price. Whatever is going to be sold here is going to be within the limit of the students. And what you mean, are you going to put a subsidy? Are you going to pay a subsidy to that or what? No, people what? will not inflate the Because if you say regulated, then I will be expected that when I come, I buy it like a, a wholesale that you will buy as a hostel. Otherwise, I think maybe what you should do rather than calling the regulated if you are not providing subsidy is that you will negotiate with them to make sure that they don't ask for too much profit. But again, if the issue is needed by the people and it is not there, that's when the value comes up. So I think Thank the you, committee sir. should Thank have to do that. That is not the regulation. They will regret it such a way it doesn't... They will sit down and yes. negotiate yes. with yes. Yes. Just like you are doing with the 
with the transportation. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> At one time, I understand. Some, business manager, sir. Uh, yeah, I understand that some professors were protesting the Talba buses. <laughs> yes, yes, <sir>. But <laughs> the student appreciate. Thank you, but, but that's what I said. If the professors want to provide and they're enough, then I take the Talba buses to other places. Yes. Thank you. And they, and they may be professors. <laughs> On behalf of our traditional ruler, the Olu of Wari, who is also, I believe, the, the Chancellor of, of our university, who is of technology, I mean, officially commissioner of the community market by the Chancellor, uh, His Royal Majesty Godwin Torres Ezu Yomi Besimi. Emiko, C O N. Ogiame Atuase Tu, the Olu of Wari, on Friday, 13th April 2012. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, he kept reminding me that he's the father of Talba. I said, well, Karemi. <laughs> yes, you're there, you're there. Good evening, sir. Sir, so far, FUTM is one of the second generation real estate. Yes, sir. Third. Third generation. Sir, what is your own assessment of the development of the Believe me, not because they are here, and, and I have gone to many universities in the country, not because they are based in MENA, but even that, that's why we wanted to create and we're creating the synergy between the community, that is the people of Niger State, with the university that it may be a federal university, but it is primarily brought here to add value to the people of Niger State. And we must really contribute to do that. And I'm very happy that they have been also contributing their own quota. And believe me with what we're seeing, this university, whether it is first, second, or third generation, will be among the top five in, in the nearest future. And we hope to contribute to that.